Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of this Caveopolis. Now, you've seen me play a game very similar to this before. Do you remember Stone Block 2? Yeah, we're in a smaller world, we're in a smaller block than we were then. But uh, I saw this Caveopolis go by and it caught my eye because unlike uh, Stone Block, this one is actually quite... Let me turn that music down. <laughs> this one is quite a lot quicker as far as I can tell. You know, things go faster. Back in stone block you had to make everything out of these tiny little pieces of stone. It took ages to break the stone and you worked up from scratch. Right? You had nothing but stone to begin with. This one gives you a little bit more uh, out of the gate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you it because I've already set up some keybinds. I've put backslash as the quest key. Um, I'm very much used to the back tick being the quest key but if you'll notice this now has uh, FTB ultimizer on top left corner. Uh, FTB ultimate. So if you hold down back tick, it's basically a vein miner. Um, so I've got it on backslash, which is not default. You have to set it up for yourself. Uh, and let's go through the first few quests. This just introduces you, and it introduces me. So we'll go through it together. Welcome to Caveopolis. Thanks for downloading, and welcome. Oh, easy to complete that quest. In fact, I completed it before I started. Uh, this mod pack uses Skyblock Builder to create the world. Right-click on this item to create and choose your starting base. Now it says that, but I already had one. And now I have a second one. I don't have a second one. But all I can do is create a new team. Now, if I I, I did this in my test world. Uh, if you create a new team, then it gives you the opportunity to just make this world again. So I'm not going to bother doing it now. Um, in fact, I'm never going to do it. <laughs> the other thing that's cool is the one probe here. It's basically Whaler. Um, but this little thing here is literally just a configuration for it. And you can put this basically wherever you want. You can have it right in front of you if you really want. Which is great. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't go away it goes away when you're not looking at anything, but since you're always looking at something, I'm going to put it up there. Um, and I like this sort of transparent style, so I'm going to keep that. Now, next quest. Discord. You can do that if you want to. Uh, so this tempad is really cool, uh, and it's ridiculously OP. Uh, let me show you what it is. Give me the reward. Also, I didn't... Oh, that's right. Look, there's another one there. <laughs> Claim that reward. Now I've got two. Um, it's... Ah! Bright colour. Um... You can create these locations, and I'm going to put one here, which is called Home. Um, and what you do is, wherever you are, you can just run this, and you can pick a location. You can teleport to it, Oop. which apparently I've teleported myself <laughs> because it was on top of itself. But that's okay. Um, maybe I should actually move this location to a little bit less in a single unit alcove. So um, can I delete this location? Oops. I think the direction you're facing matters as well. So let's run program. New location, home. So I'm going to try and keep this little area as sacrosanct as possible because if I put anything in here, I'm going to end up teleporting on top of it and making myself sad. So let's not do that. Um, the other thing that you get in this game is the ability to break stone easily out of the box. Um, test, yep, yep, yep. The guidebook exists. So there is a guidebook. You can pick it up. Um, I am not going to read it on camera, but I may read it off camera if I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and there is a gear quest on each of these thingies, which is the end of the level, the end of the task, the end of the quest thingy. Altrius can now break stone. That's me. I can now break stone. So here's the cool thing. Loud. I'm, I'm hoping that I have correctly balanced this, but that was extremely loud even for me. So I thought I turned it all down. Um, I tried to make it so that the volume that I'm hearing is a basically appropriate to what the video is recording. I am going to check this video afterwards um, but I'm still going to upload it and then if I need to adjust things I will adjust things uh, but hopefully that was merely very scary rather than actually deafening so the world is divided into these strata and at each level there is a different type of stone I can currently break stone um, at 114 to 110 or rather the other way around since we're going upwards there is calcite above that there is various different coloured stone and above that it was called top rock which is a rock at the top. Uh, below us, there is bright stone. Below that, there is mossy stone, diorite, granite, blah, 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 as you go down. The other thing to note is that if you want to get mobs in your world, you have to do it at the right level. So hostile mobs appear. Uh, zombie, husk, stray, spider, and skeleton, they all exist. Um, oh, I close it without reading. Between 162 and 80. So in this area, we are currently between 162 and 80. If you notice, we're at 96. Um, this is, you know, the the standard boring basic mobs area. Um, and then as you go down, I think, 
you get slightly more scary ones. I keep pressing escape to go back uh, below that, drowned. This is because at this level, water, 54 to 35 is also 64 to 1. It basically intersects itself, right? Uh, I've noticed that backspace gets rid of the thing, not uh, escape, so don't press escape. Blaze with a skeleton of gas, so nether mobs in the uh, in the deep dark there. And then in the end, Shulker, Endermite, and Enderman, as you might expect. And then passive mobs also have a similar thing. So everything follows the standard light-based um, spawning rules, except the what you get depends on the level you're at. So we're going to need to make farms at each level. So I thought what I might do is put all that there. Instead of uh, doing whatever the heck it was I did in stone block, um, I'm going to basically make a big long corridor. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm going to make a big long corridor and have sort of things coming off of it to the left and to the right and going up and down as well. So the just so that there is a central bit with nothing in it so I can create teleport destinations um, and just sort of because it feels like if I have a, a bit of a rule by which to play then I might if I can constraint produces creativity so I've added a constraint to myself so that we're going to go this way and we're going to build things off the side so um, remember this shapeless crafting if you hold shift and you scroll you can change uh, the shape of the thing that you're making. So I'm going to do small square. Now small square is this shape, three by three. Yep, nine blocks. Uh, you can't tell from here because the edges of it are all hidden, but I'm going to start digging away. So let's make a gap. Now what we really want to do is apart from not just um, obviously make uh, a mess here, I'm going to turn F7 on because I want to know where I've started making problems for myself. I'm also going to borrow some of these. Uh, maybe I'll borrow these ones. Because if I'm going to Dig. You can't make torches yet. Uh, you can, but I don't have the materials. So let's look at our quests. This is just world information. And each one of these, when we observe the thing, we get the quest reward. So we won't worry about that too much. Let's go to basics. So the basics are moss balls. First thing we're going to do is make moss balls. Mossy stone will drop one or two moss balls, which can be eaten. Yay. Uh, we can also get your bright shards, which are down there somewhere which will allow us to make bright stone and the torches. So that's where we're going. And stone pebbles turn into stone, stone, stone bricks turn into stone crafting table. Now, there's a bit of a collision in key bindings, which I discovered, and it was very weird. Um, if you press K when you're pointing at a thing that can be crafted in either a 2x2 two two or a 3x3, three three, so this, for example, is in a 2x2, two two, it makes stone, right? Press K on this, it'll turn the whole stack into... It'll do that for the whole stack. It's just a quick way of doing it. The... Collision is this thing that is now shown up by my cursor, which confused the heck out of me. This is from Quark. It is locking the direction of placement, right? So if we're placing something, for example, um, stairs, then if you lock the direction of your placement, then all the stairs that you then place will be placed in the same direction, as far as I understand. We'll get there. That's not important just yet. Uh, we've made a lot of stone. You know what? Let's... um. K. So rotation lock. See, the internet says it's on L. So let's see what's on L. Advancements. Don't care about that. Do I? It's that. Okay, I don't want that. Uh, options. We'll do this together because then you learn too. And if you want to play, you can find out what I'm changing. Um, and I don't have to tell you later. So let's turn L. Let's get rid of that. Is that the only thing on L? Rotation like an open main screen. Is that what that was? Yes, okay. So that's the other thing I don't want. <laughs> Fine. Controls. Uh, key binds. Key. L. La 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 la. Open main screen. No, thank you. Now the only thing we've got is rotation lock on L, which is fine. Notice how it turns on and off here. But if I change direction, it switches to the one that I'm now looking. Oh, look, it's pointing at the top of the block as well. Bottom block. Because if you put stairs like this, compared to like this, it changes. Yeah, so this is for stairs, basically. Anyway, turn that off. Uh, so K is now undeniably make things out of that. I'm only going to make one of these, though. Uh, do, 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 thank you. K will make them all, of course. Don't want to do that. Stone crafting table. I didn't actually pick up stone blocks, so I can't do that. There we go. Uh, now I've got stone base. <laughs> Let's decorate something. 
I'm wondering, actually, maybe, thinking about it, this, um, having a thing like this might actually be a good way of, for example, if I'm down a mine somewhere, uh, it, it can help me out with sort of seeing where the out is. I think that could be my marker, right? Um, normally you put torches on the right when you're going into a mine, but there's options. So what I'm going to do, also this can be sort of like the dis the distance, the minimum distance between things. I'm going to make a little bit of a gap here. I did set up home, didn't I? Three, four, five, six. Let's put a torch on the right. Um, and I'm going to start mining downwards here, I think. That seems best. Because we want bright stone so that we can make torches and bright stone is below us. So let's do that. Now, we have a mining tunnel, tunnel and an escape tunnel. It's kind of hard to see what these are doing because it's grey on grey. But if you see that's going down into the distance there. See that? It's a set of stairs and escape tunnel is the same but upwards. Just about to see that, I hope. Um, now, if you dig, start digging, you'll go, hey, oh, where's my thingy? That confused me at first as well. But don't forget, these are all on the diagonal from one another. So you can only see the first one. You have to dig more. And one more boot. There you go. Uh, I might as you know what we might as well do it this way. Uh, I'll do three. I'm not proud. There we go. Uh, and we have some darkness. So I'm noticing that the light level thingy is very much pre 1.8, even though I believe this is a 1.8 mod pack. Even if it's not, I'm pretty sure at the point that this... I think if Shift-K will do all of them in your inventory, but that was it, so I can't prove that. Um, it seems like pre-1.8 light mechanics because of how... Um, you don't get very far, basically, before you have to put a torch down. You are not making stairs, and that makes me sad. So yeah, in the top it says uh, mining four blocks. So if it doesn't say that, you're not mining four blocks, basically. Uh, you need to get closer. Five blocks, yes. I think you need to get closer. That's been my issue. Boop, beep, boop. So what you can do as well is put waypoints on the way down. Now that we're at Moss, we're about to get some food, which is why I'm not too worried about how I've been... Doing this um, vein mining costs hunger. I believe it would also cost tool... Uh, durability, as if you had mined all that stuff, it just does it all at once. It's just a speed thing, it doesn't actually help. Uh, we can make moss balls, which means we can eat them. There we go. Uh, that's very loud. Do you know what? I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. Minecraft is like the only. Minecraft and Terraria seem to be the two games where the default volume is just insane. Uh, and then we'll go to small square. We've got to make a. Well, I think we might want to make a bit of a hole every now and then. Don't forget, we're going to want to mine a lot of this stuff as well. Right, so... Um, we might as well have a mining tunnel here and there. Also, this is very bright, so I don't have to put any torches up. So we'll make a thing here. Run program, new location. Did I not make a home? Um, moss. Add location. We should, be, should be able to... Yeah, I did. I just didn't see it. Teleport. There we go. I'm facing that way. Okay, fine. And then run program. Moss. Teleport. Whoop. Brilliant. Well, it's good to know that every time you do that, you're facing the wrong way, but that's fine. Uh, it's going to be difficult to make anything spawn at this layer because it's very, very bright. So we'll um, make some more headway down here. And I've completed the diorite quest. Woohoo! More mining, please. Ah, so we've got to the point now I can't apparently break this. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Um, let's go to our quest book and see what it's telling us. <coughs> Pardon me for the coughing. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, there's no rewards and you just have to observe it. So there's kind of nothing to do here. It's just telling you that you've done it. Well then. Uh, moss blocks, stone sticks, stone torches. Okay. Let's actually go home. There we go. Teleport. Whoop. Yeah, it's based on the way you're facing when you go in it, not on the way you were facing when you made it. So that's good to know. Um, Okay, we might as well stand here and craft some stuff. It said moss. We made a moss block. Well done. It also said a stone stick. We made stone sticks. Well done. We'll make a torch. Or 16. Well done. Okay, we're good at this. There's no, no stopping us now. Uh, 
Any rewards? No, no, no. You can make bright stone. Let's do that. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, that's not how you make it. Keep pressing that button. Click to view recipes. Bright stone requires stone. Okay, then, which means you need a crafting table. Now, I did say that I was not going to put anything in this area, and I will stick to that. It is indeed sacrosanct. Don't want mining tunnel, I want small square. Thank you very much. Boop. Just go far enough to make uh, the X's appear, and then do something else. So maybe we want to go opposite this place. Uh, how much have we got? There's only one dent here, so as long as we avoid that, we can basically do anything we want over here. So five seems a decent amount. Let's put a torch on the left, and the reason for that is I might want to go that. Well, put two torches. <laughs> Now no one can complain. Or everyone can complain, which is just as good. Um, make up a bit of a hole. Boop. Boop. And if we're going to be making bright stone, we might as well light the place up with bright stone. Don't you think? It's like glowstone, but uh, even brighter, apparently. So I will put my crafting table down here. So this is going to be our crafting room, or at least uh, some of it. There we go. All that. And some bright stone. Nice. So if we sort of go fifth, 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 and do this. Beat that moss as well. The reason I didn't turn all the moss into um, moss blocks is I want to eat some of it. Call me greedy. There we go. I'm going to just bring this down. You know, it's, it cost us something to recreate that, but whatever. It's inexpensive. We have done that. We want calcite. Bone mealing moss blocks. A bone meal. Calcite drops a bone meal when broken, so we have to go upwards, I think. Can be crafted from stone and bone meal. Right, so we basically go in the other way. Um, there's also this one here, which is using bone meal on a moss block will transform nearby stone into moss blocks. Ah, that's very helpful. We should also make a chest. Can we make a chest? Let's see if there's a chest. Maybe there's a stone chest. Uh, there are stone chests, but not what I meant when I said stone chest. Uh, oh, the, no, the stone chest. So I'm guessing if I do this and this. Oh, well, screw you. <laughs> Hippie. Um, andesite, calcite, stone. Stone part. Okay, well, let's do this. More, please. Uh, stone chest, stone part, some of those. Stone chest, some of those. Oh, it was a quest. Go me. Well, you can live here then. Uh, I did that because this is full. <laughs> Why didn't my middle click sort it? We'll have to fix that. Uh, that R does. No, R doesn't. Well, as long as R doesn't, then I'm not too bothered. Uh, I'll keep this. And then you can go in here as well, because I'm never using you again. Right. Um, so we want farms, some of which are going to be farms in the sense of moo, and some of which are going to be farms in the sense of uh, not move. The other stuff. Plants. Flora and fauna. So why don't we make some more of this, since I said that this might be nice. Make a bit of decoration, huh? How's that? And then we can start digging here. Uh, I'll probably decorate more off camera. Uh, what I haven't told you, actually, is the nature of this playthrough. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is starting the game like this. This is the video, as you can tell, because you're watching it on YouTube. Pre-recorded and all that, but what I'm going to do is... Hang on. I'll finish that thought in a minute. I want to do this. What I'm going to do is alternate between a stream and YouTube. So, this first episode is just an introduction episode. They're all going to be about half an hour long, so if you haven't got you know, all the time in the world, you basically don't need it, because it's only going to be half an hour. And then the opposite weeks, they're going to be streams. So obviously a stream, there's no cuts. I never pause the game. Well, I probably pause the game to go for a, a week, but you get the idea. You know, I'm not pausing the recording and doing something off camera. The streams are just supposed to be chill. They're supposed to be, we hang out and we play Minecraft together, or I play Minecraft, and you hang out and watch. You give me ideas, I poo-poo your ideas, and then do them anyway, 
because I don't want to think that other people have got better ideas than I do, even though they do. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we, we make it, we make it fun. We make it chill. We make it hangoutable. So come and hang out. I'm liking this little motif that I've invented. It's just a couple of things. I don't have to use it everywhere, obviously, but you know, a couple of things separated by those things, and it's just a little bit of light. Um, and you know, we'll we'll do the boring stuff, which is this. Obviously, normally I would avoid putting stuff like this on camera, but we're talking, so it's cool. Um, stuff like this would be very prevalent on stream because I'm not going to pause the recording because it's not a recording. So you can hang out, we can chat whilst we decorate the base and stuff like that. And I will not be avoiding progress on the Twitch stream. Okay, so if you are interested in the progress, I will be summarizing it at the start of the subsequent YouTube episode because, of course, we're alternating. Um, but so don't worry, I'm not going to leave you in the lurch and completely forget that some people didn't watch the stream. And I'm also aware that some people didn't watch this video. So, you know, if you've come to this from having watched the stream in which I said go and watch the video, then welcome. Thank you for watching. Uh, so, but yeah, that's going to be the oops, it's going to be the pattern of play. You know, we're going to be doing alternating between Twitch streams and YouTube. So I hope that is, you know, uh, pleasing to everybody. That's amenable. Why am I just do that? <laughs> so I look forward to seeing you on Twitch. If you don't know when it will be, I haven't fully decided on which day that will be. Um, so what you want to be doing there is joining my Discord, which will be in the description below and looking out for me telling you on said discord so the other thing i'm thinking of doing here is like what if we did um something like this right uh one more of those so this is a big room <laughs> as you can tell oh i'm wondering actually maybe i don't want to do that oh I, yeah okay no i've got a good idea i will continue to put these um bright stones in the ground. But I'm actually going to just use normal stone to fill in the gaps because I want to turn it into moss. Right? So I don't want to completely convert everything into the stone bricks sort of motif because I want there to be moss there, and which is going to happen if I bone meal it, but also uh, I don't want it to be dark in the middle. So I think we can just get away with, what's that, two away from the edge? Two away from the edge? Doing this, basically. There we go. Uh, and I did that there. Maybe I'll do a similar thing here? Just sort of line it up. How's that sound? We can have that. Please no monsters while I'm digging. We're making good progress. And we can now, let's go and get some calcite. The other <laughs> point doing all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this here, basically. Uh, I feel like we should do something symmetrical there as well, actually. Well, this, okay, this could be symmetrical, but on the basis that this is the edge, right? The edge, the edge. Yeah, so we'll put a fence here. So let's put that there. And then we can go and get some calcite. Now what I haven't done <laughs> is thought of a way of going upwards. But what I thought maybe we'll do is just go up that way, because I've avoided the hole, right? So mining tunnel, escape tunnel is an upwards one. So it's the same thing, but the other way. So let's do... Do we want it to... Yeah. <laughs> I answered my own question before I'd even asked it. Fourteen blocks. Two, three. I think we take this one. Oops, move too fast. We're going to have to start chucking some of this stone away. It's a bit gloomy already, isn't it? Cool, then it. Calcite. Woohoo! See, already bone meal, which is brilliant. I don't even have to process it. Boop. 
and then we can have a look at that white coloured stone. Perfect. It's coloured white. Yeah, this is definitely old fashioned lighting mechanics. Look at that. It's crazy. One thing I can start doing maybe is putting just the bright stone in the as the steps. So if we bone meal this now. Ooh, whoa! What we might want to do is make some shears. I don't know if this will be useful, but well, who cares, I guess. <laughs> who cares if it's useful? Because I can just make more with bone meal. I assume it just does, yeah, only does the ground. So let's just keep going. And this is going to be the last one we do. So you're not allowed to be lost. I thought there was a. My brain decided that there was just a tunnel under, like a cave. <laughs> Silly brain, what are you doing? A uh, bit more bone meal. Nice. And that one. Again, please. There we go. And not you two. Perfect. And one more of those. Nice. So there's our pasture. That looks quite nice, actually, with the everything being tall. All the tall grass and the little glowstones in the middle. Lovely. Well, that's been a good start. We're at 26 minutes of me just waffling on, but I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I'm going to shift K all of that. I'm going to shift, shift. Right, you have to be in the crafting table. You have to shift, shift K, no? I thought it was shift K. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, is there a key bind? Because I press K, right? Compress item control K. Control K. What? Oh. So Shift K is... Okay, so K is the stack. Control K is make one. I don't have one that does... Um, I don't have one that does... What I want, basically. There you go. I've got some seeds as well from all of that. How's our quest lines doing? Bone mealing moss blocks. I did it. Thank you. I got bone meal. I got calcite. No rewards. I haven't got calcite. Uh, crafted from stone and bone meal. I should do that. I'm guessing it's the same as the other one. One, two, three, four. Did you see that? That was a thing. White dye. Okay. <laughs> Shows what I know. Uh, cool. We've got that. Well done. We got that. We got that. Where's my gear? Is there no gear? Oh look, mossy stone. We didn't make that. Moss and stone can be used to make mossy stone. Moss and stone. Why do I want to make mossy stone? Well, I've done it. Whoa! Chill out. There was that noise again. It's even louder every time. Uh, what we can probably do is go recent and Maybe quest? Maybe horn? No. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be... Um, I don't know if this is going to include everything. I'm going to look for this. I'll be back in a second. Uh, if you're looking for it, I found it. It is challenge complete. UI.toast.challenge complete colon Minecraft. So that is the uh, big scary noise that keeps... <laughs> the trumpets that keep scaring us every time it happens. Cool. So we've done this. This is our quest line complete. Uh, of course we're going to be exploring the world, there's going to be some cows showing up at some point, but we're going to want to probably grow a tree. So here's a tree. Uh, I'm recognising that it's basically half an hour, but you know, let's press on a little bit. Uh, observation. We just have to use observe and azalea. We can do that. I think I've already got one to observe. There's already a coup. We've already got a coup. Ta -da. Uh, having the fact that we've already got a coup means I <laughs> kind of want to let's grab some stone and also we should have our bright stone, our normal stone, and our stone blocks. Is there a door I can make? Let's start there. Door. Uh, no stone door. No. That stone panel, stone part. What can we use that for? 
Literally just the chest, okay. Um, I'm gonna do this though. Of course I have to break this every time I want to go through it. Uh, but for now, that's fine. I keep forget I've got this Z thing as well. Um, that's pretty cool. Press Z, you get some hot files to switch between. Moss carpet. Two pieces of moss. Moss carpet. Why did we want that? I could press Z again. That's not how that works. Mossy string. Three pieces of carpet. Well, uh, <laughs> just leave the cows in there. We'll come back to that. We want the crafting table. Boop. Mossy string. Woohoo! No rewards. Green wool. Made from multiple strings. Yes, indeed. So we want moss. Okay, fine. All of this. All of this. I'm going to turn it all into string. That's not how you do it. Boop. Boop. And then green wool. But we need more of that to make a bed. <laughs> so we're going to have to go and get some more mossy stone. I could break this, but why? Um, which is why we have a teleport. Whoop. We should put one here as well. Uh, small square. So this is approximately where it was on the other one. This is going to get dark, by the way, don't forget. So we should be ready with torches. We should, might as well just mine with torches, because why not? Um, do you know what? I don't need to remove that um, that anti-cow stone because I can just teleport from inside and set up another place on the inside. I mean, right? So let's uh, spring. So we want to do this. 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 So we want to do this. We want to do this. Want to do this. We want to do this. I'm gonna do this. There's three more. And a bed is gonna be wood. So, right, so we need the wood. Um, a painting machine for a mechanism can also do it. So we're not gonna be able to get to there until we've done this. Azalea saplings can be a can be bone meals to grow azalea trees. A recommended area of space would be five by five by seven. Okay, so we've got a three tall pasture. Now here's the question: do we wanna keep using this can I not do this? Why don't I break that? Ah oh, no you can't you see you can't break that. Uh, so don't do that. <laughs> Live and learn. Shut up cow. Um do you wanna use the cow area trees no. with the frog in it and everything? Or should we make a new space? What we could probably do is make a new space. So let's um let's do this. New location. And then uh, run program home, teleport, and the cow can come home with me. <laughs> not. You gotta stay there, sunshine. Um, so we could opposite, maybe. Can I have an actual map of my location instead of this nonsense? What is that? Wait, I want I want the cave layers, don't I? Why aren't you showing me cave layers? That's interesting. There's absolutely no point in having a minimap unless you can show me inside the place because <laughs> I am inside a place. Anyway, I think we go that way a bit more. You know how I said I can put teleporters outside by doing it this way? No, I haven't. <laughs> I've not done it. Um, all right, I'll be back in a minute when I've made a tree. All right, nice big hole for the tree to go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is also seven by seven. It said you better up with a five by five by seven, so I went seven by seven by seven. Got you. So, uh, one, two, three, four. So this is the middle, and this is the middle because that's in the middle. So, boop. I brought everything except for <laughs> the bone meal. Let's uh, let's make a space here. 
uh, run program, new location, tree, add location. Right. Uh, I might make a crafting location as well, actually. Home is not that useful. It just takes you to the box you started in. Um, let's do this then. Run program, new location, crafting, location. Right. Please give me back the bone meal. Run program, tree, teleport, yoink. Right, so what you do is you uh, bone meal this joker here. Woohoo! A tree! So let's have a look at this, right? So shapeless is. So the shapeless mode is basically everything that matches this block and is attached to it, right? So if I hold down the tilde key, the back tick key, and do this, boom, we've got all them. And we've got an azalea log, we've got some extra bits, and we've got this root of dirt. Uh, do I pick that up? Yes. Brilliant. So we've got quite a lot done. We can make a hoe. It's made of wood, wood, stick, stick. That's a, that's, we know that. Yep, that's standard thingy. We've got probably enough wood to make the green bed. We've got azalea planks, which is easy. Let's do this. Boop. Look at all this mess. Um, the one thing that isn't in this pack that I've noticed is uh, drawers. So we can start making some drawers that can hold all of this stuff. And this, these pebbles are actually used for other stuff, specifically the raw mixed stone. Uh, there's also stone itself, but this, I'm guessing, at some point is useful. Granite, andesite, stone, diorite. Um, and it turns into lava if you heat it up very slowly <laughs> uh, with a campfire. So it is useful for other stuff. So I'm not going to be constantly turning these things into stone uh, ad infinitum. You do have to make a new piece of mossy, grassy stuff every time you want a new tree. Uh, I did drop, I did get a, I've got two more azaleas than I started with. Oh, brilliant. So at least that much is you know, sustainable. It's my barbecue in real life. That's crazy. Uh, and I'll put one down, but I'm not going to grow on it because. There we go. I don't want it. Uh, run program, crafting, teleport, go. Right, wrong side. There we go. Hello. Right. Put. I want to. I should probably stop, <laughs> but I don't want to. Um, let's make some of this because drawers are pretty easy. There's a bunch of planks and a chest, which is one more planks. So we'll make a chest. I wonder if I can use a stone chest for that. Hang on. Um, and then it is, I can't remember, <laughs> chest, stone chest, stone part, make a bunch of those, make a bunch of those, yoink. Now, can I do this? Stone, believe it or not, ah, you can't, is um, not precious at all. This one? No. You're, you're kidding me. Draw. Oh, you have to use oak. Right. You can't use azalea. Uses. Can I make a bed, though? So maybe we get oak at some other point? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's leave that there. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me on the stream because I'm going to do the next bunch of progress on stream. Uh, twitch.tv slash Mr. Altria Sir, because if you're watching me, you can call me out. Um, check out my Discord and other links in the description below. Uh, remember to leave a like if you liked and subscribe if you haven't. And I hope that you have enjoyed and I hope that you will join me on stream for the next part of this. And don't, if you don't manage it, remember I will be um, summarizing what we did at the start of the next episode so you know make it along if you can and i'll tell you when it is via discord and if you can't don't worry about it there will be updates on the next episode so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you next time bye